Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Weebly to create your portfolio for English 1010 where you will display some of the main assignments that you've completed this year in our class. In the past I've used Google Sites for this portfolio, but Weebly works a lot better. It's um, a lot more intuitive, it's, it looks better, and you can take it with you after you graduate. It's not tied to your Mountain Heights Academy web um, email address or account. And you can use it for other things like creating a blog or a store or other websites. It's just a really nice tool to take with you after this course. So we're going to use that first for our portfolio. Um, first you'll just go to Weebly.com. I've already done that and you'll create an account using your Mount Heights Academy email address and you'll go to your email and you'll it will send you a quick email then you'll accept the terms of use and you'll open up Weebly. There are a lot of different tutorials also that can be helpful but it will first ask you what you want to create and it will give you the option of creating a blog or a site or a store and you're going to click site this time but you can go back and do other things. I've already created a website um, just playing around um, to show you so I don't need to add a site but you'll need to add a site and then when you log back in like I'm doing right now you just click edit and it will open up the website that you've created and mine is not published yet so I can still edit it and you can you can edit it after you publish it too but um, mine's just still in the in the creating phase uh, then I'm going to click a subdomain of Weebly.com. That way it's free. If you want a new, no, new domain or uh, a domain you've already, you already own, you'll have to pay. So click continue there. Okay, this is just the quick um, portfolio website that I've created that kind of shows you what's required. And you can design this however you want. It's very simple and kind of fun um, to choose images and fonts and things like that. But I'll just show you the basics. Um, first of all, the pages that you'll want to include are up here. Um, the English 1010 Portfolio homepage, which is this page that you're seeing. This you'll, you can just, um, you can put an image of yourself and you can describe uh, kind of what the purpose of this website is here in the text. Um, to add text, you just drag text down to add a text box, and then you can you can type here, um, and then you can change the title or whatever. The other pages that you need to include are this literacy self reflection. That's the assignment we did in the first quarter. You're going to choose your best summary. Remember, we did, I think, eight summaries of different articles that we read. Choose your best one to include. Also, your first literature review, your second liter literature review, and your course reflection. Um, to create pages, click on Pages, and you can order them on this left side. So I have them in the order that I want them. If I want to change the order, I just drag and change. If I want to add a, a page, you can just add a standard page this way and name it whatever you want and click Save and Edit. So it's very simple to add different pages and then you can click through here and edit them. Okay, if you want to change the image, that's very simple too. You click on Edit Image And you can change the image. You can choose any of the backgrounds that they have for you, which are all kind of fun. Or you can choose to upload an, your own images. And that's that would be fantastic as well. So for instance, now you're going to add text. Let's click on, oh, sorry. I needed to click Change Image. Oh, sorry, I need to click Save. And you have the option to save to all of the pages, so all the pages have the same image, or just this page. Okay, so let's go to the Literacy Self-Reflection, if I want to add that here. What you'll, what you'll want to do is drag text onto the page, 
And in that text, you are going to describe the assignment. and reflect upon the assignment. What did you learn? What was the process of writing? And now looking on it now, um, from the perspective coming from the end of the quarter, what would you have changed or how has your writing changed over the course? Um, so you're gonna add a reflection here. And then you can add the actual assignment by adding a document, dragging that document link. And then all you need to do is upload the file. So your Google Docs that you have, you'll want to download those into PDF files, and then you can upload them here. So you'll have, a, you'll have your literacy self-reflection right here and a reflection on the reflection up here. So you'll do that for each of your assignments. Your best summary, you can describe your summary and the process of getting to that point and then add the document down below. Um, your course reflection assignment, we did that in week six. Um, you may want to revise that a little, expand on it, but you'll just include that as well. And then when you're ready to go, you'll publish it and it will give you a link and you will just give that link to me in the assignment box. And you'll also post a link in a forum so that the class can look at your portfolio as well. And I hope you find this um, to be a fun source to use and something that you'll want to save as a resource for later on. As you can see, there's a lot of things that you can use and you're welcome to experiment with it adding um, widgets. You can add um, a place for people to like it on Facebook, or you can add a Twitter feed or Instagram. You can add YouTube videos. Those aren't necessary for this assignment, but just for future reference, if you ever want to use this tool in the future, that's available to you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I really look forward to seeing your portfolios in week seven and eight.